I want to start by thanking all my subscribers and viewers to the channel. Being a YouTuber in 2020 hasn't been an easy task, although there have been some milestones worth celebrating. We're currently over 4,000 subs, so thank you all for making this happen. In other news, we're close to achieving Now Safety in the Dart language, which currently sits at beta. For those who do not know what Now Safety is, it's a language feature that adds an extra layer of protection against null related errors by enabling the compiler to pick up instances where a null value may be produced and it ensures that we handle this in some way. There's a Medium article covering this in detail with a video as well demonstrating how null safety works. In light of this, future videos on this channel will likely have null safety enabled by default. The reasoning here is to encourage the switch to null safety sooner than later. It's not going to be a total switch though since now safety hasn't reached stable yet although i suspect this event coming in march may be a hint that is very close with this special event i'm also predicting that flutter web may reach stable i wouldn't suggest building large websites or blogs with it though since it's meant for a specific set of cases so when you read the docs it says not every html scenario is ideally suited for flutter at this time for example text rich flow based content such as blog articles benefits from the document center model that the web is built around rather than app centric services that a UI framework like Flutter can deliver. However, you can use Flutter to embed interactive experiences into these websites. Which brings me to the Angular Dart framework. I've done some content on that and I intend on doing more of that. There is also other frameworks like over React, which introduces Dart bindings for React JS. I'll also be doing some content on that. I made a poll asking specifically what other coding languages or platform should I produce content for in 2021. So based on the results of that, I'm planning on mixing up the technologies. It won't be immediate, but I'll be taking that on board as I'm planning out the content roadmap for 2021. On to other news, the Dart team are now working on enabling cloud function support on Google Cloud Run and Firebase. Historically, there hasn't been any Dart support, even though Flutter usage has increased. So I think it makes business sense to enable the underlying Dart language to be used in cloud environments. I mean, Amazon already has it. It's currently at version 0.3 and actively being worked on. I successfully managed to deploy my first cloud function within the hour after installing the Google Cloud tooling and configuring it. Expect a video tutorial to be released on this soon. I've released a couple of courses on YouTube already, with the latest this year being the recipe management app with Hasura, GraphQL backend and Flutter. I've had some time to reflect on these courses and the engagement it's received and now decided that future courses will be released on other platforms in order to introduce more interactive elements like exercises and quizzes. This also means that there will be an improved level of support users will receive. I want to thank my current Patreon members for supporting me while creating Dart and Flutter content. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one to help drive future tutorials and courses. For beginning Dart developers, I have a video and ebook bundle which covers the basics of the Dart language with easy to consume video lessons and an ebook to supplement those. It's already out, so check that out. I've got the link in the description. I'll be working on a full stack Flutter course for 2021 due for release early in the year. If you're interested in learning more about this course, sign up to my email list. I've got a link in the description. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification for future tutorials covering full stack development in Dart and Flutter. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.